Welcome back, my friends. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, a local networking group for women. They're spreading awareness and hope. Joining us from the Inspired Women Network, it is Ruth Ann and Carrie. Thank you so much for being here. How are you? We're doing very well. Thank you so much for having us. Of course, yeah. of course. We're excited that you're here. We need to learn more about this and bring awareness to domestic violence. Ruth Ann, tell us a little bit about the Safety for Sisters and Staff event. Okay, so our event is going to be held on Monday, uh, October 21st from 5.30 to 7.30 at the Shiawassee YMCA, which is right here in Owasso on Main Street. Um, free, it'll be about domestic violence awareness and self-defense. So we'll mm -hmm. have a speaker from our local shelter here to talk about domestic violence yeah. and um, an officer from the Owasso police department here to do some self-defense practice with us. Oh, that is so needed. I love that. That's terrific. Now, Carrie, how does this affect businesses and how can they help? Sure. You know, abuse impacts productivity. Yes. And businesses don't always think about this because they might not realize that they have employees suffering with it. So it can also lead to increased absenteeism and maybe a, a less safe environment yeah. for other employees in case the perpetrator should happen to come. So there is also concerned or distracted other employees. And so what businesses can do is to really learn about the signs, yes. come to an event like this, use resources, and consider offering an employee assistance program or an EAP with these types of resources for people and just to learn how to maintain that safe environment for people. Yeah, what would you say, what will people get out of this event if they so choose to come? Well, I think that they will. We're hoping that they get dialogue and yes. awareness and a lot of learning. And we hope that they will come away with some techniques for um, self-defense mm. and with some techniques for maybe talking to each other about these things, feeling a little bit safer, you know, if they're in that situation or if they have a friend who might be in that situation. So, you know, information is everything, right? The more information you have, the more you can do. Appreciate you both calling in and giving us this valuable information. It's something that we all can use. We definitely need this. Thank you so much for how you're helping in the community. We appreciate you. Thank, Thank you, you for letting us do this. You are so welcome. For more resources or to find services near you, head on over to our hot link section at WNEM.com. And please, my friends, if you are in danger, always call 911.